Jay Fish. The high life. What's good? <laughs> this is a message to uh, all of you who uh, don't believe. Alright? Ha <laughs> ha! They gon' try and bring you down. No hate is what they do. But you gotta keep a smile. Stay up on your move. Live free. 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 So we're in Ohio right now. Six hours and 20 minutes till we get to Chicago. A little bit of traffic, no big deal. Looks good. Day one, we're five hours into our drive. Heading to Chicago for deep dish pizza. Oh yeah. Here we are in Chicago. Just had some deep dish pizza. Yummy. It was good, it was good. Now we're on the road to Madison, Wisconsin for uh, for the night off to South Dakota tomorrow. Big day. Big day. Oh yeah. Alright people, day two. We're here in uh, Madison, Wisconsin and the end goal today is South Dakota. Last bed and shower for about two weeks, so, you know, I'll take it. That's what we're working with. Not bad. And we'll see you on the road. Here we are, crossing into Minnesota. Minnesota. Minnesota, eh? Ain't your butt. There's the Mississippi River out the window. You really can't see it. On our way to South Dakota. Nine more hours. Good morning, everybody. It's about 7 a.m. Um, completely neglected to record anything yesterday. So, you know, we got here, set up the tent, whipped up some enchilada bowls, which were delicious. We had to take on the day. We got uh, Black Elk Peak. It's about a four-hour hike. And then um, Mount Rushmore. So... That's that. Almost up to the top here. Black Oak Peak, three and a half miles. Just finished up our hike basically. So we're about to hop in the car and take a little nice drive around, uh, where are we going? Custer State Park. Custer State Park, gonna take the roof wildlife off the Jeep. Loop. Take the wildlife loop after we get a little food in our systems. That's all. And some ibuprofen for me. And some ibuprofen for my ailing father. <laughs>
recording. Um, last night we ended up in Mount Rushmore for a good couple hours. Got to see them light it up while playing the national anthem, so that was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, got a nice night's sleep. Now we're back on the road. First stop, Cody, Wyoming. And then West turn Yellowstone. Right, then turn left onto Iron Mountain Road. Alright. So, see you on the road. Going through this giant tunnel through the mountain just outside of Cody, Wyoming, named after Wild Bill. And we just had a beautiful lunch at Bubba's. Uh, I had brisket, and there's beef all over the place out here. It was delicious, and Andrew had a beef and pulled pork sandwich. It was good. And now we are on our way to Yellowstone National Park. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, we're here in Yellowstone, we made it. We set up camp. We got a nice little setup going here. Got our fire, chairs, tent, the whole deal. Uh, we got all rigged up for our fishing trip tomorrow. We're gonna be up bright and early, fishing the fire hole river. Um, we don't know what we're doing, so we'll see how it goes. But we're ready to go. We'll be up bright and early. Just enjoying a couple brews. Writing in the journal. Got everything organized. And uh, the family comes tomorrow. So we're going to fish in the morning. Then we're going to go food shopping, meet the fishing guide, get everything ready for that. And then. Um, meet up with them. So, that's tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We're out on the river today, doing some fishing. We're at the fire hole. It's freaking cold. By 42, 43 degrees. But, we're gonna get after it, so hopefully we get on some fish. All right, let's do it. All right, well, we moved spots um, because we have no idea what we're doing. So we're just gonna keep shooting our shots in the dark and uh, see what happens. Stop, 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 stop. What, what are these fucking fish doing? On! Fish on! Back out here with a little dry fly because they seem to be eating on the top. But what the hell do I know? John Cole, I'm on the move. Hey 
talking about. Whew. Whew. Oh, all right, people. So, current update. I have two brown trout landed and Fred has three rainbows. So we're kicking ass. Um, the last fish I caught I didn't get on camera because the camera decided to fail on me. Uh, classic technology. But we're gonna get back into it. See, uh, see if we can do some more damage. Okay, so um, these trout are legitimately feeding right in front of me. Splashing, feeding, doing whatever. Not fish and dries, um, cause I can't really tell what the fuck they're eating, but the nymphing has been very successful so far and I have no intentions on changing anything at all until it doesn't work. So let's see if we can get another one right here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Red zone. So am I. No, I'm snagged. That's on me. It's on me. All right. Current update. We are back at the campsite. We caught seven fish total. Two rainbows for me, and then four. Uh, no, two brown trout for me, and then good old Freddy caught uh, four rainbows and one cutthroat. Uh, we came back, we're gonna dry off a little bit. People got wet. And then we're gonna run down to the Gibbon, which is right behind our camp spot, and try that. So, see you out there. All right, we're here on the Gibbon. Try to catch some fish. We also have a new name for our little road trip here. It's called the Freedom Tour. So, welcome back to another episode of the Freedom Tour. A little late morning fishing on the Gibbon River. We got our cowboy hats on, because why not? Because they're free. As one does on the Freedom Tour. So we're going to try to fish. I don't know. See what happens. All right, well, we spent the day. We fished this morning, went back to camp after, hung out. Now we're in West Yellowstone on outside of the park. And we met up with Justin, uh, Pop Up, and Bill, who came in this beast over here. So now we're with them, starting the next leg of the trip. Uh, I'm about to get some some buffalo for dinner. Should be good. Um, and then we're heading back to the campsite tonight. We'll meet up with them tomorrow in the park. So should be good. Well, we were heading back and saw the sunset and couldn't help but stop. So, here it is. Sunsetting over the Rockies is really something else. <laughs> 